Welcome. Today I will be discussing Lexia's Core 5 Literacy Program. Lexia is a blended learning program which makes it perfect for in-person and remote learning. Not only that, Lexia provides teachers with feedback regarding specific skills which also make it perfect for providing students with academic intervention within the classroom. When looking at the diagram, you will see how the program works in a nutshell. First, students learn, practice, and consolidate fundamental literacy skills by interacting with the online adaptive program independently. While that is occurring, as indicated by number two, real-time data is captured and made available in actionable reports that are updated daily to help you make informed instructional decisions. Finally, students receive teacher-led Lexia lessons that facilitate their growth in a number of areas in literacy. Core 5 is a personalized and blended reading curriculum for students of all abilities in grades pre-K through 5. The program includes activities that focus on six areas of reading, phonological awareness, phonics, structural analysis, automaticity, fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. The six areas of reading are represented by these colored icons throughout the program and are useful in understanding the reports. The program consists of 21 levels for students in pre-K through grade 5. Each level has a visual theme in which the program content is presented. Each level has five activities for a total of 105 activities for the entire program. For in-depth information about the activities within a level, refer to the teacher manual and guide that is linked to the board. Each activity is marked with a skills badge that identifies the area of reading it focuses on. Within each activity, students complete units or tasks that is represented by the wheel. As students complete the units or tasks, the wheel is filled in. The units get more difficult and challenging as the students go around the wheel. Once students complete the first phase of the activities, the system unlocks a second phase, where students continue to practice the reading skills associated with the areas of literacy. So for students to level up, they must complete all of the units or tasks in phase one and phase two. They need to complete all the wheels. Each activity has anywhere from six to 20 units or tasks associated with them. If you want to see what the activities call for, you can look at the later slides for the skills by level, the teacher's manual for more in-depth information, or logging in as a student to see the student experience, which we will go over later. A unique feature of Lexia is the instructional branching that occurs within the program. Students are first given a model or quick lesson for the unit or task. It is brief and they must pay attention. The student's first attempt is standard instruction. It is the first and most complex step in the unit. Students must complete it successfully to progress. If there is a mistake during standard instruction, the system provides guided practice, which is scaffolded based on the student errors. If successful, the student returns to the standard step. If the student makes a mistake again, the system provides direct instruction. It explicitly teaches the target skill with additional scaffolding. Then the student returns to the standard step. If a student receives instructional support two or more times, a Lexia lesson icon will appear next to their name in the class overview. Lexia correlates with other assessment measures. Performance predictors are consistent with NWA assessments. Simply, a student with 80% is on target to reach the benchmark. A student with 50% has some risk of not reaching the benchmark. A student with 10% has a high risk of not reaching the benchmark. Based on each student's performance predictor, MyLexia provides a target usage needed to increase the probability of the student reaching the end of year benchmark for his or her grade level. In general, as a rule of thumb, the students in the red will have more time and more units assigned to them. This will accelerate and intensify their progress toward grade level expectations or end of year benchmarks in order to close the gaps. So get to get a true reading of a student's ability, it is imperative that they reach their assigned units and minutes per week, making motivation the number one thing we need to instill in our students. Core 5 does present a lot of work to our students. While it is in a gamified manner, there are still some questions that we need to ask ourselves. How do we motivate students to spend time on Lexia and complete their units and minutes? How do we prevent Lexia fatigue? How do we get students to buy in and take ownership of their literacy learning and become self-aware of the skills they have gained and have become independent in? So there are two ways to think about increasing motivation. The first is increasing motivation of the completions of the units and tasks and to increase motivation 
around goal setting around specific skills. My Alexia provides you with achievement charts as well as certificate of achievements to help you in this endeavor. There are many reports provided by Alexia. The most important to get yourself started are the class overview reports as well as the class skills progress report. They all begin in the class overview, which is your home screen. From there, you can click into all of the other reports. The system allows you to take a bird's eye view of your entire class and then drill into individual student skill areas that can help you plan. These reports allow you to progress monitor students' growth towards their individual goals. Perfect for AIS. When you sign into Lexia as a teacher, you will be able to view your class overview page. The class overview is a snapshot and bird's eye view. It displays information for all your students assigned to the class. The class overview displays a class table of students. On the left, you will see a list of your students and the actions needed to support those students. For example, you will see minutes, target, time needed, units gained, target units gained, and predictor. Minutes are re-upped every Sunday night or Monday morning. Above the class table is the class action plan, which provides you with a to-do list to support your students. To the right of the class table, you can see the skills progress report. Most of the information in the class overview is updated in real time as students work in the program or upon logout from the program. Performance predictors are updated monthly. To access the class skills progress page, just click on the skills progress card. The skills progress page allows you to see where students started in Lexia to the student's current level and how much growth has occurred so far this year. The green line indicates end of year target. For each student, you can see how many total units tasks they have completed in program and how many they still need to complete. You can also compare student progress and growth with one another. This may help you with grouping. You can see the percentage completed in each level. Finally, by rolling over each section of the bar graph, you can see the percentage of students in each group. For example, if you started the year with 47% of students working on material below grade level, and now four months later, there is only 22% of students in this group, you would be able to assess the power of the blended instruction. The real-time data facilitates small group and one-to-one -one instructional planning. The program also offers teachers instructional resources to support the teaching of specific discrete skills. One of the most unique things about the program is that it provides teachers not only with information regarding these specific skills, but also with specific lessons that teachers can implement to, to address these areas. Lexia provides teachers with many resources. Three of them are the Lexia Lessons, which addresses comprehension, fluency, and vocabulary skill areas. Lexia Skill Builders, which are downloadable practice materials that reinforce and enhance online learning. Lexia Connections, which allows you to form small groups for face-to-face -face instruction and partner work. Under the Resource tab in Lexia, there are many more resources to help facilitate face-to-face -face and remote learning. Logging on is easy. Go through Clever, click on the My Lexia icon, and log in. From there, you should see your teacher dashboard, and all of the resources are at your fingertips.